guys welcome back to our channel we're the garso twins i'm britta and i'm carly if you like this video we'd love it if you would subscribe down below and today we're going to be doing our annual black friday haul so let's get into it because we have quite a bit to show you <laughs> Okay, so we want to let you know that um, we did purchase way more than this, and then we returned a lot of the things we mm -hmm. didn't like. So we won't be showing you the things we returned, um, but we'll kind of be going by store-ish. So mm -hmm. we'll start with... I don't have as much as Britta. I was pretty tame. Well, I had one big purchase that we'll talk about. Yeah, so, so we probably spent the same amount. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so we'll start with beauty stuff. First, I want to talk about some things I got from Ulta. What Only was the sale they were having? They, so they had, this I bought before Black Friday, they had their, like, Friendsgiving sale. Mm -hmm. So I didn't actually purchase this on Black Friday, but they just had certain, like, things on sale. And one of them being the Burt's Bees blushes. These never go on sale, and they're only $10, but it was on sale for, I believe, 7 And I didn't have this shade. It's the only shade I didn't have. It's the Shy Pink shade. I really love it. It's a true cool-toned pink. Um, these are my favorite drugstore blushes. They're amazing. I use Bare Peach just about every day um i also like toasted cinnamon and then this is like the pinky shade in the range so i had to get this i also picked up the eco tools i think it was called the like diffuse brush on here it says bronze but that's not what they called it on the website first of all this handle is adorable it's like a speckled blush pink mm -hmm. and eco tools has Okay, I still think Real Techniques is my favorite brush brand, but Eco Tools is giving them a run for their money. I have a few of their brushes, and I think the quality is so good. This is so nice for bronzer, and I kind of have been trying to replace the e.l.f. Stipple brush because we can't really recommend that to you guys anymore because no one can find it. It's like they don't make it anymore, and I think this is a really good alternative. It's a bit denser, but the size is really nice. I feel like it really buffs out bronzer. It buffs out blush. That would be good for cream products. Yeah, it would be really good for cream products, actually. And it's just a really, like, it just looks nice as well. So I've been loving this. Sorry, it's dirty. I've been using it every day. And then this is my new favorite eyebrow gel. It's the Makeup Revolution Brow Gel. I have the shade Ash Brown. Casey Holmes recommended this. It's a really thin formula. So what I love about it is that it grabs on every hair. It holds my brows in place, but also makes them look fluffy and not, like, dried down in my skin. It's so, it's such an interesting formula. I've never tried something like this before, and I truly love it. It's better than any other brow gel I've tried. I know that's like such a huge statement, but this is amazing. It has a really, really tiny brush, so I feel like it would work with anyone's brows. Um, and then moving on to Target, I only got a couple of things. I got this Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish in the shade Neutral. This was a Mariah Leonard recommendation. She posted it on her Instagram. And I thought it was so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my nails today. It's so pretty. It's like a true neutral it's a nude, really don't you think? Shade, yeah. Um, I love it. I feel like I haven't ever been able to find a true neutral what? nude. Your nails look long. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mine are so short right now, and I think it's just I the winter, so I'm, I don't know I'm okay why mine are growing. I haven't been wearing nail polish because I haven't had the time to paint my nails, to be honest. But I got this, and I actually painted them last night because I was so excited to use it. It does dry down really quickly. It has a nice wide brush. And this was on sale at Target for like $4. Such a steal. Sorry. And then last up is this cute little set by Sweet Chef, which is from the founder of Glow Recipe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's Glow Recipe's sister brand. I believe it's supposed to be more affordable. Yeah, and it's I think it's exclusive to, to Target. Target. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. only seen it at Target. They have these three serums, and I've been wanting to try all of them, but... I didn't know which one would suit my skin, so they have... Those are cute minis. Yeah, the Kale Serum, the Beet Serum, and the Ginger. Um, so Ginger is for... It's vitamin C, so brightens dark spots and uneven skin tone. Beet is... It says it refines pores and smooths rough skin. And then Kale is hydrates and soothes dry skin. And just from trying these, I definitely prefer the Kale Serum. It's super milky, and it does really hydrate the skin really, really nicely. Um, and it dries into my skin. None of them have fragrance, which is amazing. And this set is only $10. So you get to try all three for $10. I think there's plenty of product in here to like, you know, have an actual opinion on these once you're done using them. Um, I really have been liking them all, but I would recommend the kale if you have dry skin. Um, the vitamin C I like, but vitamin C, like, I don't know. If it really works, I feel like it's way too harsh for my skin. And then this is like a more gentle version, but I'd have to use it for longer to actually see if it brightens my skin. And the beet one, 
I think would be even more for oily skin. I, I bet there's like niacinamide in here if it refines pores. But they're made in Korea. It's a really, really great brand. I want to try more of their products. And this set is like, it would make a good gift too, like mm -hmm. a stocking stuffer for $10. Okay, I only have one makeup item, which is shocking, but the Sephora sale was right well, before this. Well, that's beauty this. too. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I'll talk about that too. Um, the, the Sephora sale was right before this, and... It always is. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, we, we've gotten a lot recently. Yeah. Oh, and the Lisa lipsticks, we purchased those. Yeah, we've been spending a lot. Um, I've wanted one of these forever. It's one of the Ritual de Feel, I think that's how you say it, but I could be wrong, um, Ash and Ember Eye Soots. And Emily Schumann of Cupcakes and Cashmere talked about the Celestial Eye Soots like two years ago. And they looked so pretty, but they were very glitter heavy and they're kind of expensive. So I was like, oh, I'm going to hold off and like see what other products they launch. Then they launched the Ash and Ember ones, which are more of like just a satin sheen on your eye instead of like chunky are you glitter. It today? Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's so pretty. Um, and I was like, okay, that is right up my alley. But again, I think they're like pushing $40 and it's oh, like, really? yeah. Um, but it's definitely, so they're, um, a clean brand. Everything mm -hmm. they make is complete, like completely clean. Like you can read the ingredients and basically know what they are. Um, they're a brand owned by sisters. So I really mm -hmm. love that. And I wanted to support that because we have a brand together and they're just, it's such a cool brand. They release something new every full moon, which is like really cool. <laughs> so like LA, are they in LA? Yes. They're based yeah. here in LA. Um, and the branding is very, like, magical. It's just a really cute vibe. As you can see, this component is adorable. It's a, what would this be, an octagon? Hexagon? Hexagon. Yeah. Yeah, there's six sides. Hexagon. Um, so anyways, this is the Ash and Ember Eye Soot in the shade Half Light. It was really hard for me to decide what shade to get. I was going to get Love Spell, which is a lot of, like, a warmer, orangier brown. This is more of, like, a cool toned brown. I like that. Pretty neutral. Yeah. yeah. And I love it so far. Okay, so the component, the opening is so small. I can fit my pinky in there because I thought I was just apply it with my finger. I could fit my finger you in. You apply it with a shader brush though, right? Yeah, so now I've just been applying it with a synthetic brush. And I just kind of swirl my brush in here and then just put it all over my eyes. And I wore it yesterday all day at work. And towards the end of the day, it definitely had like creased and worn down. But it didn't look like crazy it didn't look bad it wore really nicely um it just it's so beautiful i have so many creases in my eyelids so i expect things to crease but it just wore really nicely and it, it's so unique i can't even describe it it's <laughs> i wish i could do a better job but it's just a hybrid between a cream and a powder but it's pretty dense too so like you don't pick up too much product yeah some of the color pop cream powder like their super shock shadows it can be very creamy sometimes I feel hmm. and you get like a lot of um, pigment and product like right away this I feel like there has to be a lot of powder in it because you don't get a lot of pickup or like pigment right away it's very buildable they're just so beautiful I think they're worth the money to support like a small brand a clean brand um, and a brand that really puts a lot of effort into their innovation I feel like mm -hmm. this is such a unique formula I've never tried something similar which is hard to find in the beauty industry mm -hmm. there's so much repetitive um, formulas happening so really love this and highly recommend and the shade half light is beautiful okay and then my other beauty favorite is hair related which I know is shocking we never buy hair stuff but my GHD straightener is 10 years old this year and like this year, 2019. So it'll be 11 years old in 2011 or 2020. And I, it still works, which is awesome. Like props to GHD they for work, actually yeah. lasting a long time. But it was just, it's just so old, I wanted to upgrade. And I've wanted the Kristen F straightener for so long because I think it's so beautiful, like strictly it's for so pretty. <laughs> aesthetic reasons. Um, and so I got it because they were having a 30% off sale mm -hmm. during really Black deal. Friday weekend. And her stuff isn't, it's not as expensive as GHD, but it's not super cheap either. I think for Target, it's expensive. Yeah. I think her, like, this tool was $80 originally. So I got 30% off, which was awesome. And so far, I really love it. My goal is to learn how to do, like, curls with it because it has this nice, mm -hmm. like, curved barrel. Um, I haven't mastered it yet because it's actually pretty big, which I saw a lot of people complain about, but I like that because you can yeah. straighten your hair so quickly. Like, I used it it's, today. I wouldn't say it's big. It's big this way. It's pretty big. It's mm. bigger than my GHD was, but I prefer that. 
Um, it's just so beautiful and it works so great and I think it's just as high a quality as my GHD. So for that price point, even without the 30% off, I think it's a great deal and just so nice. So really happy I picked this up and I was really happy that Target was having a sale. Okay, next we're going to move into lifestyle. So I picked up three books during the sale and one of them hasn't come yet but Target was doing a deal buy two books get one free and I have never experienced a book sale like on any That's retailer a good deal like they just don't do books on sale of course Amazon like the price fluctuates which is where I get most of my books but when I saw Target well, I was doing this the industry this, needs the money you know I that's really why they don't do sale books are kind of expensive yeah. when, when you buy a lot of them mm -hmm. but anyways so two of them that I have with me Ellen Hildebrand the what happens in paradise it's the sequel to oh my gosh, what one you like so, yeah summer in paradise yes I think that's what it's summer called in paradise that I love so much and my friend Sarah said this one was like even better I think she listened to it in like a day and so I can't wait to start this I, I really want to start it today because oh by the way, so I think I've spoken about this, but I've read 15 books. My goal for the year is 20. So I have five unread books that I'm hoping to read by the end of the month. Wish me luck because who knows when I'm going to find the time. But I really want to hit that goal because it was literally my only like New Year's resolution. <laughs> and then the other one is Royal Holiday by Jasmine Galroy. And this author has been super up and coming. It says here, really um, pretty. yeah, super cute. New York Times bestselling author of The Proposal, a Reese Witherspoon book club pick. So I don't know if she gained popularity because of the Reese Witherspoon book club, which by the way, she does have really good picks. I follow the Instagram account. Um, but, and then she also has a book called The Wedding Date. Both of them sounded really good, but Are they the, like the movies. Um, the proposal and the wedding day. Ah, oh, that's true. I don't know. Were they adapted into screenplays? We need to look into this. I don't know. But this one, obviously, it says Royal Holiday. It's like a holiday-esque book. Um, and I purchased a few of those because I just, like last year I read, what was it called? If you follow me on Goodreads, you would have seen it. And I, I like, it's all in there, the books that I read this past year. Um, but that one, it was like a super cute, like romantic comedy type holiday-esque book. And so I really enjoyed that. And I feel like they're easier to read, you know, like to get through them. You can get through them really quickly. And because it's December, I wanted like a holiday kind of book. So I picked this up. I'll let you know how it is. This is my first um, Jasmine Gulroy. Gulroy? Is that how you say it? I don't know. Uh, book. And I'm excited to try her, her book because obviously she gets really good reviews if you read the back of it. Anyways, I'm rambling now, but these were the two I got, and then I got one more. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it was another, like, holiday type of book, and yeah, I was just really happy that Target did that sale. And I do want to mention, Target customer service is so good. I So it had a sticker, and this cover is soft touch and when I took the sticker off it's like super goopy and it's just kind of gross and I reached out to them and they gave me a full refund for the book and sent me a five dollar gift card I That's thought that really was nice. insane mm -hmm. um but it is kind of annoying that they like put a giant sticker on this book you know but anyways they rectified the situation really quickly oh my lamp okay I'm sorry, real quick before I forget, I wanted to mention that I got a really cute desk, or not desk lamp, side table lamp from Target. Uh, I think it was like 30% off. They just had some really good sales they this did. year. So good. Like that book sale. I can't get mm -hmm. over it. Um, and like I read in bed and my room is really dark and we just replaced the lights and the lighting's now kind of too harsh. So I couldn't find a happy medium and I'm like, I'm just going to get a lamp for my side table so I can just turn that on and read or just turn it on and do work and it's just kind of like lighting my area. And this lamp is so cute. I'll insert a picture, but it has an acrylic base that kind of mimics the look of marble, but it's more like a gray black. And then it has a brass portion on top of that. And then the shade itself looks like a cream linen, which is like all my favorite finishes. I think it's so beautiful. It is large, so it kind of takes up a lot of my table, but the light is perfect. Like the tone of the light isn't too cool too warm it really lights up my room and it was so inexpensive so if you're looking for a side table lamp I highly recommend this one or I'm sure any of them from Target are good but I just really love the look of this one okay I have a few lifestyle favorites first I'll talk about this bag from Everlane which Everlane did like a sale type thing a week before because I think everyone knows this but every Black Friday weekend they do um 
this kind of, they just get people to raise money for this ocean charity, which is awesome. And they have like a little slider on their website and they tell you like when they've reached their mm -hmm. goal. And they reached their goal this year and last year. And I purchased last year around that time because I was like, oh, that's so awesome. Like it was a huge chunk of the percentage of proceeds yeah. went to this charity. So that was really cool. So I was going to order during that time again, but then the week before they sent out this $20 like yeah, credit. They, they said like, which is such a good idea, they put yeah. a $20 credit on your account. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to do anything. Yeah, if you have an existing account with Everlane. So I was like, oh, well, I mean, I want to support charity, but I have this credit the week before. So I decided to order a few things. Um, well, I returned one of the items, but then I got this bag as a gift for her boyfriend for his birthday. And I also picked one up for myself because I was like, this bag looks like it's going to be my travel dreams bag. Um, it comes in four colors. This color is unfortunately sold out already, and um, you can see why I love it. I think it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's the warm taupe shade if it ever comes back in stock, but I'll link the black below because that's still in stock. <clears throat> and it's just a simple bag, but I just think that the size is so perfect. Like, I don't know if you can really see, but it is so big that I think for like weekend trips, this will fit my makeup and skincare like pretty flawlessly. And you there's buttons on the side here so you can button it down and then it becomes like more of a um what do they call the dope. men's yeah a dope dope kit like yeah. the men's style bags um which makes it like so much flatter so then i was like oh if i just put like a few things in here and i throw this in my work bag it can just be like sized down like this mm. like i just think it's so versatile and really nice quality that I'm like super excited about this bag. Um, it's maybe one of my favorite items I got. So really love this and I'll definitely link it down below because I think this will be a great gift for um, the holidays for men or women. Like everyone can use a nice travel bag. The other item is not here yet. So um, my boyfriend and I decided to buy new bedding for like our Christmas gift to each other. And of course we wanted to buy it during Black Friday because bedding is expensive. Um, so we went with Brooklinen. I went back and forth a lot between Brooklinen and Parachute, but I just heard slightly better things about mm -hmm. Brooklinen. So we ordered the core set, which includes like the core linen sheet set in white and the linen duvet cover also in white. And then we ordered the all seasons duvet, which I wanted the um, the lighter duvet, which is uh, like thinner and more made for like not as cold climates, which mm -hmm. we, it's cold right now for us, but it doesn't get that cold most of the year. Um, but James, my boyfriend really wanted the all seasons one because it had a more like fluffy look. And so I think it'll work for the winter, but we might get the thinner one for summer if it's too hot in the summer. I'll keep you guys updated because I feel like that was my biggest decision when deciding yeah. what to order. Like the sheets and the duvet was like a no-brainer, but I'm like, oh, which one do we get for the actual like comforter duvet? So really excited to get that in when it arrives all, well, by the time this video goes up, it won't be here. So I'll just um, insert a photo from the Brooklyn and website and obviously link everything down below and then keep you guys updated if I like it. But I know I'm going to love it because yeah. it, everyone raves about their bedding. Um, I'm so, so, so excited. It's like the best thing that I've bought and I'm so ready for new bedding. So really excited about that. Okay, so every year we get new Christmas pajamas from Target. Of course, they had the best sale. This set was only $15 and um, we bought three pairs. So then you saved an additional $10 on top of that, like mm -hmm. on your total order. So, so cheap, but they're super cute. Um, these are the pants. the pants. They have these like faux buttons here. And the, then the, this is a bit tight. I can't lie. <laughs> okay yeah we got we ordered extra small and small and kept the smalls because the pants are a bit tight but the shirt's definitely like oversized mm -hmm. and long which I like this is by the stars above brand mm -hmm. which um, has the best materials yes like they're this so feels soft. really nice I've been wearing them like every night before like we'll obviously wear them on Christmas but I love the gray red combo it's really so, so cute. cute they did a great job um, what else did I get today? oh to be a designer for Target like how fun I know Oh, I don't think I brought it in here. I'm not moving, so. <laughs> um, I got another skirt from Target. It's just a plain, like, faux silk black skirt. I thought it would be good for any holiday event. It was on sale, and I really like it. It's a little big in the waist. Like, the fit isn't perfect, but I think it'll work really well with a bodysuit or even an oversized sweater. I'll insert a photo of it so you guys can see, but I highly recommend that if you're just looking for, like, a plain black skirt. Um, did you get anything from Target or no? No. Okay. So I'll just keep going. Uh, H&M, I got, so these are still damp because I, I, um, washed everything I got yesterday, 
but I they had 30% off their website so I wanted to try these jeans I think they're called their straight leg jeans but it's part of their premium collection so it's supposed to be a bit higher quality I think they're originally $50 and I got them for $35 which is a true steal but they're super black as you can see and sorry they need to be lint rolled um, very very black the fit is really flattering they're a little big on the waist but I kind of find that with most jeans like I mean everyone does like if they fit your legs they don't fit your waist vice versa well if you are similar shape to us yeah and they kind of have a bit of a they're supposed to be like a straight leg but they I feel like the leg tapers a bit and I might cut these because I do like the raw hem look and they're not too long on me I'm 5'4 for reference um, but I do find that rolling them looks really nice too, but I really, really love the fit of these. Um, they're kind of like that mom style, that vintage style. They're really flattering, but overall I bought them because of how black they are and they're super, super dark, which I feel like I'm always after because really black jeans, I feel like you can dress up more. Like the faded black look I like, but I don't feel like they look as nice if you're trying to dress them up. And then I also got this blazer which I love so much it's actually I think they call it a jacket on the website and by the way the thing I find with H&M is if you buy they're like a little bit higher price point items the quality is really good like if these are $50 like that's going to be better than you know their $20 pair of jeans um this I think was originally $60 and it does have a little bit of padding in the shoulders, but nothing too bad. It's really nice and thick. I think you could wear this as a jacket. I'm just going to wear it as a blazer, like over a t-shirt, which is how I usually wear my blazers. It has these cute tortoiseshell buttons, this really cute plaid print. It's really warm. I really wanted to wear it today, but like I said, it's still kind of damp because I washed all my clothes and I hang dried them. Um, and then the sweater I'm wearing I got, it's a taupe, like chunky knit sweater. I find a lot of their stuff to be itchy. This one's not itchy at all. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen it on Instagram. I think like Kathleen Post has it. They have a few shades. I got it in extra small. Oh, by the way, I can tell you my sizes. I had to size up in these to a four. Um, the two was too tight, so I think these run a little small. I got a two in this jacket, which is my normal size, and then I got an extra small in this sweater, which is my normal size because all of their sweaters are oversized, mm -hmm. I feel. So that's for sizing reference. I love all three pieces. And then, um, sorry, I'll let Carly talk in a second. Uh, I got these two tank tops from Express. And I ordered so much stuff from them. And you guys, I don't know if you find this, but I don't think the quality of their stuff is good. Like, mm -hmm. I, it's like... It went downhill. Yes, it did go downhill. I don't know. I was excited because they had like a 50% off sale. And a lot of our friends shopped there. But I don't know. I feel like the, they, the pieces like didn't fit me well. I don't, I don't, don't think my body type is that crazy. But they didn't fit me well. And the quality was just like not there. So I returned almost everything. But I did keep these basic tanks. Um, because they were only, I think, $10, and they're just like a ribbed, I like the thick strap, um, and I feel like I can wear these, you know, under jackets, under blazers, so I kept the white one and the black one, because I thought, why not, like, basics are fine, um, and then I kept the shoes, I do think the shoes are really nice, I wore them all day yesterday, they weren't uncomfortable, um, I feel like the quality is pretty good, this is what they look like, they're these cute, oh my gosh, I have like a fuzzy on them, they're these cute boots, so they're taupe, like a faux suede, and then a faux leather, like snake print on the back. They have the cutout here, um, a little bit of a heel. Here's from the front what they look like. I got a seven and a half. I feel like they run true to size. Um, these, so they're originally sixty dollars. I would never pay sixty dollars, but they were obviously on sale for thirty, which I think is a good deal. I think for these, like the quality is pretty good. Um, so if you're shopping at Express, I would recommend looking at the shoes, not really the clothes. Okay, let's wrap it up quick. So last, um, I just ordered two things from Zara and they these were not on sale, <laughs> but I ordered them on Black Friday. I got so them too, I love I them. I figured I would talk about them. They're the snakeskin mules. They're amazing, they're so comfy, they're so cute, they go with everything. Quality's good, love them so much. Definitely link them below. Hopefully they're still available. And then I got this holiday dress for some holiday parties. It still has the tag on it. But I think it's so cute and I never wear dresses. But this is actually really flattering. And it was not on sale but it was only $50. And I feel like that's a pretty good deal. So um, I'll link this down below. And then maybe insert a photo from the website. So you can see what it looks like fully. And yeah, that's everything.
Thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sticking along to this video. Yeah, sorry we're kind of rambly. I think we're kind of tired and it's like about to rain. Yeah. Sorry if it's dark. <laughs>